हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर मैथिली टी एम कंसल्टेंट फिजिशियन सर्जी हॉस्पिटल शिमोगा टूडेज डिस्कशन विल बी ऑन व्हाट हाई ब्लड प्रेशर इज एंड हाउ टू प्रिवेंट इट एवरीवन वन वुड लव टू हैव नॉर्मल ब्लड प्रेशर बट फॉर दैट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट ब्लड प्रेशर इज एवरी टाइम द हार्ट बीट्स द हार्ट पम्प्स ब्लड इन द ब्लड वेजल्स दिस ब्लड एक्सर्ट सम अमाउंट ऑफ प्रेशर अगेंस्ट द ब्लड वेजल दिस इज नोन एज ब्लड प्रेशर every day the blood pressure keeps on fluctuating but when this blood pressure continuously persistently remains high for a long period of time it leads to complications so persistent high blood pressure above the normal level is known as hypertension so this uh, when uh, this uh, to develop high blood pressure it takes a long period of time so who all are prone for risk usually people with bad lifestyle choices that is lack of physical exercise eating junk foods smoking alcohol excessive consumption and stress management so let us know what are the risk factors first one is age as person goes on uh, aging his blood vessels stiffen and narrow as there is build up of fat inside the blood vessels second one is family history when uh, when uh, parents are having hypertension kids are prone to develop hypertension so these two are non modifiable risk factors the other risk factors which can be modified are dietary habits that is excessive salt intake in diet there is lack of potassium rich foods in your diet and excessive consumption of alcohol and excessive consumption of fatty foods or processed foods one more risk factor is stress dealing stress in unhealthy way can lead to excessive high blood pressure now coming to symptoms usually hypertension remains asymptom- asymptomatic patient rarely present with symptoms usually it is detected when patient comes to hospital with some other complications like uh, chronic kidney disease stroke heart attack eye problems very rarely patients present with headache usually uh, usually in the posterior aspect that is in the occipital region giddiness blurring of vision buzzing in the ears and fatigability so it is very important to monitor your blood pressure regularly so how do we measure blood pressure it is very simple you need to consult your doctor on opd basis there is a very simple instrument known as spigmo manometer This spigmo manometer gives us two readings. One is systolic blood pressure and another is diastolic blood pressure. So what are these two numbers? Let us know now. When the heart beats, it when the heart contracts, the pressure exerted by this blood on blood vessel is known as systolic blood pressure. And the pressure exerted in between the heart beats, that is when the heart rests is known as diastolic blood pressure. normally the blood pressure reading is around 120 by 80 mm of mercury if the blood pressure keeps uh, is persistently above 140 by 90 then we call them as hypertensives so what do you do to prevent development of high blood pressure so lifestyle modification is very important lifestyle modifications can delay the onset of hypertension as well as we can reduce the Uh, need for medications so what are the lifestyle modifications first one is regular exercise as we all know exercise is very important to keep our heart strong if we keep, if our heart is strong it works less that is it puts less effort to pump the blood into the blood vessel and hence there is decreased pressure uh, on the blood vessels exercise also Uh, uh decreases the uh, increase in blood pressure as the person goes older and also exercise can prevent development of obesity that is it helps in weight reduction and hence a uh, decrease in blood pressure so how how much do we need to do exercise daily it's around 30 minutes of uh, aerobic activity has been advised every day uh, uh, to the patients so what are the exercises we recommend usually simple walking jogging or even swimming can help reduce blood pressure so second one is dietary modification healthy diet so most of us have the habit of eating junk foods daily 
so that's a very bad habit and uh, so what is uh, what do we recommend usually there's something known as dash diet or uh, mediterranean diet that is dietary approaches to stop hypertension so what do we recommend in this we advise pa uh, patients to take lots of fruits vegetables whole grains and also uh, reduced intake of dairy products and uh, uh, even saturated fats that is fatty food should be reduced in your diet this dietary approach can reduce your blood pressure by about 10 to 11 mm of mercury second thing is most of the people have habit of eating excess of salt in diet so if you reduce salt intake in your diet you can reduce your bp by about 5 to 6 mm of mercury so when you are bringing a processed foods to your home you have to see there is something known as low sodium diet so you got to bring those uh, uh, packed foods to your home and also uh, many people have the habit of adding extra salt on your to your fruits or with your curds you need extra salt so you have to reduce the intake of excess salt and pickle pickle is very important most of the people have the habit of eating pickle so pickle has too much of salt so you need to avoid pickles in your diet the next thing is you need to add more of potassium rich food so what are this potassium rich food fruits like orange uh, grapes and banana are rich in potassium and dates and uh, 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 broccoli uh, spinach all these are potassium rich food so you need to increase the intake of potassium in your diet so this will indirectly reduce your blood pressure then you need to reduce your uh, uh, excessive fat consumption I, i already told you that junk foods increase your fat uh, fat in your diet and it can lead to it, it will put a pressure on your heart that is heart needs to pump more and it will put excess pressure on the heart so pressure in the blood vessels also will increase and your in the and your blood pressure will increase so you need to reduce your fat consumption in case you are eating too much of junk foods it leads to obesity which is also a risk factor so you need to reduce your fat consumption next coming to habits smoking smoking is a very uh, important uh, risk factor for developing hypertension not only for hypertension but also your lung disease and also your cardiac problems so you need to quit smoking next coming regularly you have to monitor your bp so how to monitor your bp as i already told you it is done by a simple instrument known as speedmo manometer you need to visit your doctor so in case you have you are at risk of developing blood pressure in this covid times it is very difficult to go to a hospital regularly so you can keep a digital blood pressure monitoring machine in at your home and regularly monitor your blood pressure so this uh, helps us to know the blood pressure at different times of day as i already told you the blood pressure keeps on fluctuating throughout the day so you need to check your blood pressure with your digital blood pressure monitors next is stress how to manage stress stress is very important it leads to increased blood pressure so you need to manage stress so that you can lead a emotional and uh, you can have a good emotional and physical health so how to reduce it you can uh, do meditation exercise also makes you stress free you can concentrate on something which is calm and peaceful so next is adherence to medicine when all this lifestyle modifications have been already practiced and your blood pressure is still on higher side that is it is more than 140 by 90 then we'll have to start you on medication so i've seen many people we start on medication once it comes back to normal level people stop medication this is not advised you have to take medications regularly you got to consult your doctors before stopping the medication usually if with medication the blood pressure has come back to normal level it means that you need to take that much of medication you cannot stop the medication in between if you stop the medication the blood pressure again starts increasing so i have seen many people stopping medication in between and then they come with risk complications like stroke heart attack all those things so next so if all these practices have been uh, done then uh, uh, finally what i would like to say is uh, for a precious to the uh, most important thing is you need to be fit in your life so you need to follow 
help uh, follow these uh, practices and in, in order to maintain good blood pressure uh, you need to monitor your blood pressure regularly and whatever I told preventive care should be followed. Now I would like to say something about blood pressure monitoring. So once the patient comes to hospital you need to take rest for at least 5 minutes before uh, taking blood pressure monitor, um, uh, blood pressure measurement. So, and uh, patient should not have smoked uh, before uh, at least 30 minutes. Patient should have uh, not taken coffee for at least uh, before uh, 30 minutes and patient, uh, patient uh, should have passed urine, uh, his bladder should not be full. And once the patient comes to hospital, he should take at least 5 minutes of rest. And then once uh, we take the measurement, immediately we usually don't start patient on medication. We usually take at least 3 readings and in that 3 readings we take an average of 3 readings and then if uh, BP is really high then initially itself we start medication. Otherwise we ask to come for follow up. Um, at last what I would like to suggest is there is nothing more precious than having a fit and healthy life. So adapting healthy lifestyle can help us enjoy long and healthy life. It is possible to maintain blood pressure levels with regular monitoring and preventive care. So everyone needs to, uh, uh, needs to check your BP regularly to prevent all the complications whatever I have told that is stroke, heart attack, uh, uh, kidney disease and eye problem. And people who have hypertension should have their regular eye checkup done and also your kidney uh, sh um, uh, blood test should be done to check your kidney levels and urine routine also should be done. So this is very important and associated any other risk are there it should be checked. And uh, heart attacks as people are more prone for heart attacks you need to check your uh, ca cardiac condition also regularly. And also um, sometimes uh, diabetes also will be associated with hypertension so you need to check your sugars regularly. So at last please regularly monitor your blood pressure and follow all the preventive measures. Thank you.